Hello. All right, we are pulling up into Max William Loop. So I know you guys have been kind of here before, but just because. Always good to see what you see on the way in. Wow, the cherry trees are beautiful. William. I bet delivery drivers love that sign being covered by that tree. I bet. Yeah. So this one's actually a self-help neighborhood. Um, I believe through Habitat for Humanity or maybe Kitsap uh, County Consolidated Housing Authority. Is that 408? Yep, that's it right there. Perfect. Cute, cute. So these homes were built with a lot of attention to, to detail. A lot of care and love. I guess I don't have to do street parking. The driveway's open. Yeah. Okay. Save an exit on my... I didn't know the, about the self-help thing. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So fencing here, you have a little step up. This is the, um, trying to say. Okay, so this is a uh, hardy plank cement fiber siding on the front and on that side, but this side is the vertical um, particle board stuff, but up there at the top, it's the cement fiber. I wonder if they've replaced what was at the top there. So looks to be in good condition though. I mean, this, the foundation is, you know, six inches from the ground. The wood, the siding isn't in the dirt at all. So that's awesome. Got to pull that beauty bark back from that one. Even though it's the cement fiber siding, it still shouldn't be in contact with it. So this is all the cement fiber siding up here. Nice little covered porch. You guessed wrong again. Why? Oh, the key. <laughs> okay, so vinyl entry, coat closet right ahead of you here. Oh, they took out the rod. There's no, you have no to go rod, put no in a, yeah, the shelf and the rod. It's missing a, a track on the, on the bottom. Okay, so this is two little rooms separated by the stairwell in the middle. I don't think the pictures really showed that. So it's cute, it's clean. Um, there's a tiny bit of little wall damage there and a couple of mollies there. Some small sections where the so. uh, floors are uh, bubbled it. Oh yeah. Well, that's, not even, that's not bubbling, it's just indents. Well, yeah, it was damaged by water. So yeah. a little bit right there as well. Tiny, tiny. See, it's hard to even see, but it, it's a lot more easy to see with the naked eye <laughs> than with the camera. Okay. Seal they the had for a... Pot rack. Yeah, pot rack. Okay, so I'm standing in the corner. And so, yeah, so there's no connection between dining and kitchen and living, right? Standing in the corner again. So, I mean, you can kind of barely see over to the living room. Uh, what do you got? The uh, electrical is a little interesting. Okay, what do you mean by that? Uh, These are in good condition for mica countertops. What's uh, that? I'm not 100% sure how to properly describe this. It's a fluorescent thing, that's all. Okay. It's just a fluorescent bulb. Okay, it's just a bevel? Okay. Okay, so laundry room here, and then half bath through the laundry room. Oh, that's a, that's a big old garage. Yeah, it is. So nice size garage. You have a good 12, 14, well, 16, 16 or 18 inches on either side of the garage door. And then this is your door to the backyard. 
So that's nice to have that. And then of course you have the slider out. Not airtight. <laughs> okay. So there are no odors in this home. No pet odors at all, which is nice. So vinyl flooring here. Okay. Again, there's your dining area. Kitchen, I didn't really look at the kitchen very much here. You have a lazy Susan in the corner, I think. There's a hinge there. Yep, lazy Susan. Plastic shelves in there. There are wood cabinets. They're a little bit on the inexpensive side, but they're wood. Okay, just a inexpensive stove and hood. I'm sure it works. Oh, I'm glad I tried it. <laughs> yeah, it's, with okay. the fluorescent bulbs, there's a bit of a buzzing noise no matter what room you're in. So yeah. I, would, I would suggest replacing the lighting at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Okay, I'll go upstairs. Storage here under the stairs. So there's very little storage in this house too. This is their pantry, right? And then they've got down in there, there's a little bit more. So you've got kitchen, you have a wire shelf there. You have the closet here. Okay, and then going upstairs. carpet is definitely used it hasn't been cleaned and there's it looks like a cat's been scratching at it here a little bit right I don't smell cat at all though yeah no it doesn't seem to have a smell to it as far as okay. I can discern so um full bath at the top of the stairs very small vanity right then you have linen closet here I went through this really fast. Toilet. It's about as small of a full bath as you can get. It's a very, again, a very small vanity there. So no drawers, right? Just under there. But you have the linen closet there. Okay, so master. It's a nice size master because that's a queen bed. There's lots of space on either side. Then you have this area here. Oh, they have really nice shelves in the master closet, the wood shelves there. Okay. And then a single sink, that's a lower vanity. Drawers there. And they have, like, that's room for a hamper, maybe? I don't know, the toilet paper holder's kind of in the way of that happening. <laughs> Tub there. Oh, there's a solar tube here. It needs to be cleaned. But that's going to let in daylight. That's nice. All things considered, there so, is a good amount of natural light coming in. Yeah, so you have the daylight coming in. Oh, there's scrapes up there. They had hooks over the door is why. Uh, so, so I'm just going to... So you can see this area at the end of the bed. Okay, and then two small rooms across the hall. And that's it. And they are small. Like, really small. You can... Remember we were talking about small rooms in the last one. Oh, there goes Stan in there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it gives that, like, old split entry vibe, to be honest. So, um, you can get a twin bed in here. You're not putting a queen in here. If, if you put a queen, you're accepting that you're not going to have much space for anything else. But it, you could put a queen in this corner, like a, de like a small desk over there. Or a, desk, or a dresser. You need something for clothes, probably. Yeah, yeah. So... But yeah, and then this room is the same. Actually, it's a little bit bigger, tiny bit bigger, this room. But yeah, you see what I mean? This is a very like split entry-ish end, end of the house. <laughs> so, and also I just noticed there's a failed window seal in that one, it's all foggy. Okay, let's go check out the backyard. What's that? Kitty cat damage right there again. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Is that a failed seal in that one uh, also? I think it's just dirty. No, no, it might be... Might just be dirty? I don't know. Oh, actually there's an easy way to tell. Yeah, it's just dirty. Oh yeah, somebody else wiped it already. Yeah. <laughs> to try to check it out. Okay, very small deck, right? And it's full of dirt. <laughs> you need to get the dirt out from between the cracks. Oh. And uh, it's probably due for replacement soon. It was never treated and sealed. It's so, mm -hmm. but it's so small, it won't, it won't take much money. Only $10,000, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Decks are so expensive. That's probably a $1,500 deck to replace by a contractor. Uh, you've definitely got the option to extend it if you want. Like, you can see that there's uh, space around here if you come around the side where this bush is. You could remove this bush and just push this deck out towards the edge of the house if you want more deck space. Yeah, but decks are so so much to replace. I'm trying to go with a smaller deck, like have steps down and do right, pavers. Right. Yeah, if you, if you <laughs> wanted to upgrade. Whatever you want to do. It's your house. So, um, water's been hitting here, right? And this hasn't been painted. So, I mean, in, so there's a little, there's a little softness in there. I don't know if an inspector would say, oh God, I'm caught on this. Leather, will you, hold on. Hold on. I'm Let's caught count. on a rose bush, uh, my, my sleeve. No, this, this part as well. Thank you. I really like this ah, shirt. Prickly. Come on, come on. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> uh, wow, you are properly caught in there. Wow, okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> stupid rose bush, stupid shirt. Okay, but yeah, um, this is... You know, they have not maintained this house, so you need to do some work to it to get that all fixed up. So, I mean, this is a belly band that's covering up a seam, right? And so water shouldn't be getting behind there. So this side is definitely ready for some exterior paint. You need to paint this up and then secure that. And I don't really know that there's any damage to it, but you need to do some preventative maintenance so it doesn't, so the damage doesn't occur big time. It's really ready for some, for a coat of paint, a little bit of prep work and paint. Looks like a bird, an, a bird has been nesting in there. This is why you have flapper covers on your dryer vent so that you don't end up with birds and stuff inside. Okay. That's your crawl space access. That thing is serving dual purpose. It's both an archery target and it's covering up a hole in the fence. Huh, perfect. <laughs> it's a nice yard. It's on a little bit of a slope. It's not super level. No, it's pretty lumpy bumpy. Yeah. It's very lumpy bumpy, yeah. but that's a nice shed in the back. The house is ready for a coat of exterior paint, big time. So, okay. Uh, is it, is it, oh, I see, I see. There's a carabiner here. There we go. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if they're leaving that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's the house.